In this video, I will be doing a complete breakdown of how I made 8500 US dollars within the first 15 minutes of market open. On this day, I only took two trades, both were winners and I decided to call it a day in 13 minutes. We will start with the technicals of the stocks I was watching for the day, then I will also break down the overall market that was a major factor contributing to these two trades I took right off the market open. Then we will jump on to my entries and exits and finally the PNL for the day, so make sure that you guys watch this video till the end. Let's now jump onto my game plan for the day. On this day, I was watching three stocks, Netflix, Amazon and Tesla along with the SPX index. My first trade was on Amazon because Amazon has also been consolidating in between $2750 to around $2900 range along with the SPX because the overall market has been consolidating after the recent drop. Amazon is also reporting earnings, I think on Thursday this week after market close. But on Friday last week, Amazon had a good push above this trend line and it was right around 2900 critical psychological level in the pre-market and my first trade right within the first one minute of market open was on Amazon. So let's now jump on to my trade on Amazon and see what happened. In the pre-market, Amazon made a pre-market high of around $2910 level. I'm going to mark this level for you guys. And just before the market opened, Amazon was holding around $2895 level right here. In the market open and if I zoom in a bit further, my plan was that if we see the market push towards the upside because a lot of tech stocks including Netflix and Tesla were already making a move in the pre-market towards the upside but Amazon was holding. My plan was that if we see the hold of 28.95 right off the market open, I'm going to take my calls position on it for a break of 2900 because that is a good psychological level. A lot of sellers will be sitting there, a lot of ask will be sitting there. So that will act as a magnet around 28.95 for the break of 2900. And then my ultimate profit target was the break of 29.10, which was the pre-market high. So let's now jump on to my entries and exits on this trade and see how I manage this position in real time. Here's a recording of my trade. You guys can see the market just opened eight to nine seconds ago. And when we saw the push about 28.95, 28.96, a lot of green on the time and sales. Around 28.95, I placed my order to get filled. I paid the mid price for this trade. I did not pay the ask price because if you guys see here right around at the top, the spreads are very, very wide. Eventually, I was able to get filled 10 of my contracts at a fill price of 54.85. I'm trading 29.50 calls, same week expiry contracts, but you guys will realize that the premiums are very, very expensive. This is because the VIX is high at the moment. That is the first reason. Whenever the market drops, the volatility increases, the VIX increases and the premiums get expensive. And the second reason is that Amazon is reporting earnings this week. That also contributes to the expensive premiums. After my entry on Amazon, as you guys can see, we had a clean push towards the upside. My profit target was a break of 29.10. That's why when Amazon broke 29.10 and we had a good push towards the upside, but the market was having some sort of difficulty around the pre-market high. That's why I took five of my contracts out, that is 50% position, and I got filled at 58.10. All of a sudden, when Amazon broke 29.15, we saw a lot of blue and red on the diamond sales. That means people are hitting the bid, or maybe people are hitting under the bid. And that is the reason I covered another two contracts at a fill price of 58.65. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that if I'm green on a position, I won't let the trade go against me. And when Amazon failed to hold 2900 towards the upside, it broke under $2,900 level. I cover the rest of the three contracts at a fill price of 56.30, overall making around $3,000 on this trade within the first two minutes of market open. Not even two minutes, within the first, I would say, 70 seconds of market open, which is amazing. My second trade of the day was on SPX, and this was straight from the game plan. I also discussed this play in our pre market webinar that we have every single market open day for our Discord members. If you guys want to be part of our Discord group, the link will be in the description box below. Also, a lot of our members have been killing it recently even if you go to the profit and losses section we are done with january 2022 a lot of our members had really really good month we also had a few equity curves right here consistent growth over the month you guys can see right here small drawdowns and big push towards the upside that's what you want when you're a day trader a small push down because that is not what you can ignore. You will 
have drawdowns but your job as a day trader is to control the drawdowns a lot of our members had really really good strong months so you guys can see we are all about consistency and focusing on taking those two to five trades a day with high risk to reward plays even if we scroll down a bit further our members most of our members ended the month really really strong most of our members were green even when you see that when you see green a lot of our other members are also commenting and appreciating the gains that they had over the month even when you are red you will get comments from other members on how you can improve your trading we had a very good testimonial from this member so i think we are very very fortunate i personally am very very fortunate to have a community of such supportive members because whenever i am red i also get a lot of support from our members it's not about flaunting your green days or hiding your red days because we are all in the same boat we all will have red days we all will have green days it's all about managing those red days and green days effectively that's why it's very very important to have a community or to have people around you with similar mindset and similar goals let's now jump on to my game plan again and take a look at my second trade of the day my second trade was on spx since the recent push down spx has been consolidating between this 40 to 50 and 44 50 range the yesterday's high the previous day high was around 44 30 level and then the two days ago high was around the same level as well so that's what i was watching if we get a push towards the upside and if we get the hold of a level a level like 44 30 that is the yesterday's high or maybe the $4,400 level, which is a good psychological level. I want to enter on the pullback. I don't want to enter at the breakout because SPX premiums, they spike a lot at the breakout. So I want my risk to reward to make sense. My plan will be to enter on the pullback for a break towards the upside. Before we jump on to my entries and exits on this trade, it takes a lot of time to make these kind of videos. So I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification because I'm releasing two to three new videos on day trading my journey as a day trader how i started making fifty dollars hundred dollars two hundred dollars now five thousand dollars eight thousand dollars everything is journaled on youtube and my instagram so make sure that you subscribe and follow me on instagram so here's a one minute chart of spx i will post a screenshot of my entries and exits right at the top so you guys will be able to see that i entered right here on the pullback at 9 38 so before we jump on to my entries and exits let's see what happened right of the market open we saw a small dip this dotted line right here is the previous day high and as i mentioned i was looking for a pullback entry after this post down we had a really good post towards the upside spx made a new all-time high it was pulling back to the 9 ema this gray line on the one minute chart is the 9 ema and i saw the hold of this level which is around 44.28 and 44.30 i wanted to enter on the hold on the pullback so i entered my calls position right here i took 30 contracts at 938 and my fill price was 14.9 i was trading 44.50 calls same day expiry contracts when i entered this trade my stop loss was the break of 44.30 towards the downside so my stop loss was really really tight on this trade based on my experience worst case scenario the premiums would have gone down to around $14 so I would have lost around $2,500 to $3,000 on this trade so I was willing to risk around $3,000 on this trade but then as soon as I entered we saw a nice push towards the upside my first partial out was at the break of the uh, the previous day high which was around $44.35 level at 940 right here I took 10 of my contracts out at a fill price of 16.8 and on the same candle I took another five contracts out at a fill price of 16.9 and 17 around finally i was only left with 10 of my contracts because if we see a good post towards the upside we might even see the break of 4450 so i was just trying to hold on to my winner on this trade i took my last 10 contracts out right here because i was not willing to hold through this pullback because if you guys don't know the same day expiry contracts can be very very volatile also they lose a lot of their value if you hold your trades any longer than you should because of the theta decay theta decay means the time decay the premiums are expiring the same day so they lose a lot of their values if you hold through a consolidation or a pullback overall on this trade i made around 5600 dollars by only holding this trade for three to four minutes which is insane 
my risk was around three thousand dollars on this trade so making around six thousand dollars is two to one risk to reward not the best in the world because if you guys saw my previous video on the trade i made twenty thousand dollars i think thirteen thousand dollars on spx that was a return of around eighty percent i was expecting that kind of a winner because you guys can see it moved really well later in the day but I just decided to stay back and sit on my hands because I took two trades off the market open and I was nicely green for the day. But if I go back and look at the chart, you guys can see right here, that level held really, really nicely. This is the previous day high. That level held nicely again and then we saw a crazy push towards the upside. I remember the same premiums, 44.50 calls, they were around $12 right here. On this push up, they went to around $18 or $19 and on the next push up, they went to $25. So yes, I missed that trade, but it's not about being a part of each and every move in the market. It's all about taking those two to five trades a day with high risk to reward and calling it a day because I have accepted that you can't be a part of each and every move in the market. My goal for this year is not to take 10 trades a day, but rather my goal is to take those two or five trades a day, under five trades and increase my size on those trades because that's how you increase your account over time. When everything was said and done, I posted this on our Discord group after around 45 minutes of the market open i was done within the first 15 minutes my first entry was at 9 30 a.m and my last exit on the spx trade was at 9 43 a.m so that means i made 8300 us dollars within the first 13 minutes of market open which is amazing and a really good end to the month that's it guys if you like this video make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to learn more about day trading and to stay up to date with my journey as a day trader if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, those are the people first to know about my green days and red days. So make sure that you follow me there. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.